today is seventh August, and it is birthday of Jimmy Wells, co-founder of Wikipedia. So we all may wish him happy birthday to Jimmy Wells. I thank you all for your presence and the interest in my talk. I also sincerely thank the organizing team for providing me an opportunity at that forum to share my thoughts with you all. To begin with, I would like to introduce myself. I am Ganga Dharmadani from Jharkhand State. I retired about five years before from Bank of India and have worked at different supervisory levels in Bank of India, joining in early 1974 as an officer and retiring in 2011. I have worked in nine states of India, including Punjab, in late 1974. I have moved from places to places, Patna to Pondicherry, Mumbai to Madras, Nopal, Chennai, with sojourn of a few weeks in Taljali, a tribal village in Jharkhand, to Trivandrum, the capital city of Kerala, and at many other places in and around India. Well, you may be wondering about the title of my talk, Choice in Chaos. Fine, I would describe Choice in Chaos as random musings, random ramblings, or maybe random talks by me, an Indian Wikipedian who has been contributing to English Wikipedia since last 11 years. Since 24th March 2005, to be precise, I call it choice in chaos. As when I commenced contributing to Wikipedia, I started in English Wikipedia. I found myself immersed in an ocean with waves surging inside me, trying to find expression. I had to select among many topics and subjects. This talk is about my initiation, rather self-baptism, as a contributor of English Wikipedia. I was holed up in my apartment due to mild fever while searching on Google. And Wikipedia cropped up and spread a big canvas before me and thus began a journey which resulted into a wonderful day to be part of a really proactive online community dedicated to creation of some total of human knowledge as described by Jimmy Wells. Within a short period of time, within few months, I created a number of new pages and during my initial years, my rendezvous with English Wikipedia I may have created 500 plus new pages of varying length, of varying sizes, covering a variety of topics and fields, geography, history, book reviews, biographies, mythology, banking and finance, to list some of them. I have remained a restless editor. Yes a restless editor, jumping from topic to topic without concentrating, concentrating on selected articles. I do feel that despite being having around more than 2 lakhs edits, yes, 2 lakhs plus edits, I feel to quote Robert Frost, the words are lovely, dark and deep, 
I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. My content creation attracted attention of the community of English Wikipedians and I was awarded an exceptional newcomer of Barnstar on 27, 22nd April 2005 with a month of my commencing uh, editing Wikipedia. Subsequently, within six months of my journey as a Wikipedia, I was interested in the responsibility of being one of the administrators of English Wikipedia. I continued for a few years like a knowledge warrior on the large field of English Wikipedia. Few weeks before, I was evaluating a number of pages created by me. Their growth was amazing. In many instances, however, I also found that similar pages exist in many other Wikipedias. However, I noticed that a number of topics which I created pages in this Wikipedia are yet to find place in Wikipedias of other languages of South Asia. I propose to share on a sample basis names of some pages created by me. I will keep it short to save time because we are already running a bit late. Himansu Rai was a page created by me. He was a Bengali Indian cinematographer. The article finds place in Banda Wikipedia. The title of Baksar and Kuhar Singh, those pertains to areas where most foreign language is spoken. I find that the title of Baksar is available in Bhospuri language Wikipedia, but poor thing is not available. Kathmandu Valley finds place in Nepali Wikipedia. That page was also initiated by me on English Wikipedia. Mirudula Sarabhai belongs to Gujarat. But I find that although she, her page is available in Malayalam Wikipedia, which is one of the most vibrant Indic language Wikipedia community based on Mridula Sarabhai is not available on Gujarat Wikipedia. Indian Institute of Astrophysics was established in Bangalore during the British Raj. This page is not available in Kannad Wikipedia. Raj Tarangani is a 12th century book written in Sanskrit. Fortunately, uh, this, uh, I may add, this relates to Kashmir. It finds place in many languages, including Punjabi, Sanskrit, Gujarati, Hindi, Sihala, and Kannada, but it is missing in Kashmiri language Wikipedia. Vidyapati and Amrapali. Vidyapati was a poet of Mathematic literature, and Amrapali belongs to period of Gautam Buddha. While Amrapali is associated with the time of Gautam Buddha, Vidyapati is a poet of 14th century. Vidyapati's record is good and it finds place in around 14 languages, including Mathali, in which he used to write. However, Amrapali is missing in Mathali, but is present in Punjabi, Hindi, and Telugu language Wikipedias, apart from some more Wikipedia. When I was posted in Bank of India Audit Department in Chennai, I had to visit states of South India, all the four states plus the Union Territory of Pandichi. And I, my boss was from um, Kerala and it is a beautiful state and one falls in love with God's own country. I created many places about Kerala but three places I distinctly remember. St. Francis Church of Kochi, that is the oldest church in India of the modern times. Paradesi Synagogue, which is a Jewish temple, and Padmanabh Swami Temple. All these are located in Kerala, as I told you, and they find place in Malayalam language Wikipedia. Bombay Topis was founded by Iman Surai, as I told earlier. 
But unfortunately, there is a base about Himan Surai Marathi, but the base is blank. Sonam Man Singh is an ODC dancer from Odisha Odisha state. She is present in Odisha language Wikipedia. Kiran Bedi is the first woman IPS officer to present the, the governor of the Union State of Pondicherry. She is present in Punjabi Wikipedia. Kathmandu is the a Kodamakkam is, is the was the Chennai neighborhood where I had from where I had begun my Wikipedia journey. Kodamakkam is present in Tamil Wikipedia. Sri Salem is located in Andhra Pradesh and one of Kumal Jyotirlingam, a god of Hindu god called Shiva. It finds place in Telugu Wikipedia. Salim Chisti was a famous saint of Fatehpur Sikri. The legend states that he blessed Akbar and the Mughal Imperial Salim, later known as Sahangir, was born. Unfortunately, the saint is absent in Urdu language Wikipedia. Culture of Nepal, I has told you earlier, is available in Nepali Wikipedia. Another page created by me was Liberation Museum, Liberation Bar Museum of Bangladesh. It is available in Bangla Wikipedia. Lahore Museum was established in 1865, 1866 during the British period and it is available in both Punjabi and Urdu Wikipedia. The position mentioned by me indicates that as far as creation of articles is concerned, there is always a choice in chaos. A Wikipedia editor selects a topic which he or he fancies at a particular moment of time. However, we as a group, as a cohesive online community, should always strive to give direction to our efforts in choosing the best choices from the chaos. One should always keep oneself aligned with well tuned with one's environment, culture, language, literature, to be able to pick the best choices from the chaos. Yes, there is certainly choice in chaos. I have, and probably many among you may have experienced so. I think I am not overshooting my time of 10 minutes for this topic. Now I will go to the Another topic which I have to give, I have to give. Now I come to the second part of my talk. It is called Igniting the Imagination. To name the talk, I have drawn inspiration from a book written by our a book named United Mind by our charming president Late Kalam Sar. Many of you may have read the book also. The book was dedicated to a 12 year child called Sneha Thakkar. This is a small but great book and it's very significant in many, many ways. It tells dream, dream, dream. Dream transformed into thoughts and thoughts result in action. This reminds me of our human mind, human brain. When we think of human brain, a sense of miracle envelops us, the miracle that is human brain. We understand that human brain is not one thing or even the sum of its parts, but literally million of things happening at once and then a million more in the blink of an eye and then a million more, all combining to make us what we are. In this context, I would also love to say a quotation from Susan Nalpur, an award-winning writer. Entering a brain is a little like entering a blizzard or a dense forest. It is easy enough to find a way in, an interesting phenomena to study, but also very easy to get lost. And I easily get, got lost in the brain, Wikipedia, brain of Wikipedia, which is some total of human knowledge, rather some total of brain waves, brain waves of millions of contributors, millions of human beings. This resulted into certain interesting incidents and encounters. However, 
I will not be able to relate and recall all interaction with the number of fellow Wikipedians. I would say a little about the actual content creation. Once there was collaboration around an article named Culture of Ancient Rome, I contributed to the extent possible. But while editing this article, a thought came inside me, let me come nearer to Asia from Europe. So I set up for Asia and created a new page named Culture of Nepal on 5th June 2005. Over a period of time, I now find many articles pertaining to cultures of different nations, nationalities, and civilizations. I have just mentioned about keeping oneself open and in tune with one's immediate environment. I would explain this with my own experience. While working in Chennai, my office was located near Armenian Street, Chennai. There was a church and it was called Armenian Church. I had heard about the country named Armenia, but did not know much about the place or the people of Armenia. I used to enter the church premises sometimes by returning from my office in Chennai and would marvel at the big bell installed there. I talked with people there and came to know that Armenian Christians have remained in India since last many centuries. They ignite, this ignited my mind to create an article of Armenians in India. This was initiated on 19th May 2005. Within two months of my initiation as a Wikipedia, over a period of next few years, many editors from many time zones across the globe created a number of articles about Armenians diaspora in different countries. Thus now there are many articles about Armenians in many countries, at least 50 countries. However, I may add that matter had already come to the notice of Wikipedians as an article in Armenians in Romania was in existence since December 2004. I had done a minor edit to this article on the day I created Armenians in India. I may add that subsequently I also created an article named Armenian Church Chennai in August 2005. Interestingly, my article was second in the line of articles pertaining to Armenian diaspora around the world. Thereafter, a number of articles were created about Armenians in different countries, like Armenians in Malta, Armenians in Lebanon, Armenians in Malta, so on, like 50 countries I told you. I do, do remember having created a base Tamil Kushan, a North Indian working in South India who created a base Tamil Kushan. Because I like the food of South India, including foods of Kerala, Karnataka, all places, all the four states. So, I created the base Tamil Kushan in the middle of 2005. Likewise, I became a little bold as the Wikipedians, Wikipedia says be bold and created two new pages named Culture of Asia and Culture of Africa and Kusan of Africa, not Culture of Africa. My concluding message is let us make choice in chaos and let us ignite our minds and let us contribute to building the sum total of human knowledge. We all should always remain on the knees and more. Yes, remain on the knees and more to ensure that knowledge is accessible to everyone in their own language. I am reminded of a book named Third Way by Alvin Toffler, the famed writer of Future Shock. He recently died in June 2016. He was an American writer and a futurologist. I read the Third Way in early 1980s but I may be of your age. Now I am almost 65, 66. The book, was the book has postulated the emergence of a global village. And at silver years of my life, I find that global village has truly emerged. Let us be part of this fabulous period of human history, of human civilization. And I urge the young generation to contribute to the building of some total of human knowledge. I thank you once again and sincerely appreciate 
the organizing team for wonderfully managing the sources last three days. Thank you, friends, and happy Friendship Day.